Hello and welcome to another episode of Plus Alpha Studio. And today we're going to have a look at this Canon AE1 in this Yonsei University. So let's have a look. that we're going to use today is the Kodak Color 200. So like the other camera you open the back and then insert the film. Uh, wind it. Close it. Wind it till the number turns zero and you're ready to shoot. Unlike the camera that I reviewed last time, the Yashica Electro 35, this Canon AE1 is the SLR camera, which means there is a mirror inside and the lens is attachable. And by the way, that thing smells sucks. Canon AE1 is introduced in 1976 and this model especially is handed down from my father. camera. When you're doing a film photography, the hardest thing is to match the right amount of light. But when you're using this Canon AE1, which is run by the battery, it has a light meter inside and it tells you exactly how much amount of light that you need. And also it has a depth of preview button, which means when you're taking a photo, and you can tell how the photo is going to be turned out. self timer mode which is on the top so when you're taking a photo you can take a selfie by like this and the photo is taken the main reason why people are using film camera is the photos. The photos have their nostalgic mood and special feeling to it. And you can really get those kind of feeling from the photos that are taken from the digital camera nowadays. But especially like these cameras, the lens attachable cameras, it has more advantage nowadays too. Because these lenses are usable on digital camera with adapter. And I'll discuss those on another episode.
like other film cameras, the amount of photos you can take is depend on the film inside. And the film that I'm using currently, you can take photos about 36 to 38. And when everything's done, you push the button on the bottom, and then you start rewinding from the top. And it takes quite a while to rewind. And everything's rewind, you open it up and you can see the films all loaded. So after that you can take the photos. people ask me which film camera to get? Well, I think that's a very hard question to answer because there are a lot of film camera in the market which is there are a lot of options you can choose and the most important thing is I think you have to know what kind of photo you want to take. There are a lot of factors that affects the photo qualities and photos mood and feeling and I believe there are two big factors which is the film and the lens. Although the films are usable in most of the every camera, but there is a lens that are used in certain cameras, like Canon camera use Canon lens, and Nikon camera use Nikon lens, and Olympus camera use Olympus lens, and so on. So you have to know what kind of feeling that your photo want to be. And then after that you choose the camera. This is the camera that I reviewed last time, the Yashica Electro 35. And this is the camera that I reviewed this time, the Canon AE-1. The Yashica Electro 35 is very very easy to use camera, so I recommend it to the beginners of the film photography. Because the lens is attachable and it only supports the aperture primary mode. So there's not many things you can consider and change while you are taking the photo. But the Canon AE-1 that I reviewed this time is fully manual camera. This one has different model which is the Canon AE-1 program one. And the program one supports the program mode. But this Canon AE-1 just supports the manual mode. The manual mode means that you change the aperture and you change the shutter speed. Then you take a photo. Although this sounds more complicated than the Yashica Electro 35. That means you can change and manage the photo that you want to take. And this camera has pros that you can change the lens into different focal lengths. The lens that I used this time is the Canon FD 50mm 1.4 but you can change to other lenses and you can change the focal lengths and that's really really big deal because when you change the focal lengths the about the picture that you're taking is very different although these two cameras are very old it has very different features and thus it is for the different types of people user so and plus another thing is that these kind of lens attachable camera is that you can use this camera lens on a digital camera nowadays with these kind of adapters. This adapter is just a piece of metal but with this adapter you can adapt the lens to the digital camera and it becomes just a manual lens. And although these is, are manual lenses, it's really producing really nice photo when you get used to it. And these lens are very very cheap than the modern lens and produce fantastic photos. And I think that's all for today. And if you guys have any questions about the film camera that I reviewed or if you have another film camera sitting in your home and you want to know what kind of photo they gonna be and 
what kind of film camera you want to take. Just ask me in the comment below, then I'll answer right away. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you guys enjoyed, then please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with another great film camera review. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.